When you go to a rock show and you see that lead guitarist shredding on that stage, right behind them is usually a stack of Marshall amps. Well, now Marshall is bringing that same level of stage excellence to you with their new line of headphones and speakers. The Acton 2 may be compact, but it packs a big sound. With Bluetooth 5.0 technology, you can play your music in glorious stereo sound with no wires required. With great wireless sound in a range up to 30 feet. With classic Marshall details such as a textured vinyl covering, salt and pepper fret and the iconic script logo on the speaker's strong wooden frame. With a loud heritage of 50 years, you'll want to proudly display this speaker in any room. I'm literally going to put it in my kitchen or my living room. I'm actually going to get another one for both. Adjust the volume, treble, and bass with the brass knobs on top, or you can use the Marshall Bluetooth app with built-in equalizer in case you're out of reach. Get your own Marshall Bluetooth speaker today at marshallheadphones.com. Use code JJ15 for 15% off any Bluetooth speaker at marshallheadphones.com. That's JJ15 at marshallheadphones.com. Thanks, Marshall. What's up, everybody, and welcome to my podcast what they don't tell you. I'm Jordan Jones. I am with Sophia and Sophia. Would you like to introduce yourselves and like, you know, what you guys do a little bit? Hello, I'm Sophia. I live in New York City full time. She will be living here full time. We'll be making that happen very soon. But what do you do? Oh, I model. That seems pretty. She's also frank. <laughs> she's also 16. She's the most stylish, most fun, loving, intelligent 16-year-old. She's gassing me up. She's gassing me up. Oh, you guys are going to hear, like, how intelligent this girl is. And Sophia, would you like to introduce yours? Hi, I'm Sophia. Um, what do I do, really? Okay. We're going to get into what she does, I guess. Yeah, We're going to get question, into it. But because yeah. there's a lot. You've been through a lot. You've done a lot. Yeah. Both of you have. I mean, we all have. But... Overall, I just want to start this episode off by saying that these are probably my two best friends. I call them my angel babies because we have a group chat. And the angel babies. Which, fun fact, they didn't even know each other. So I'll start with like how I met them, I guess. <laughs> so I met Sophia. Like, okay. there's Sophia with an F, Sophia with a P. For you today, I'll call you Soph. Okay. Because I, like I, I feel like I can't look at you and say Soph. Right? No. Yeah. No. So this is Soph on the right for anyone that is listening. Um, this is Sophia Rose. So, Soph is Sophia Rose. Sophia is Sophia Oliveira. For so whoever Rose was easier for you. Mm-hmm. No, you like so. Yeah, so. Okay. So, so I met so Which one is it? It's going to be so confusing for me, you guys. Start off oh, down the line. No, okay, no. okay. I'll start off here. Okay. So, next to me is Sophia Oliveira. She's Sophia for this interview. Sophia and I met in the absolute craziest way. We we were like online, like friends forever, kind of like we knew about each other. We would FaceTime each other and we never met and never really thought I was like going to meet up with you for some uh, reason. Like, <laughs> it's kind of weird to just like be doing that. But what year was it? Like 20, probably like 2016, I want to say, because 2017, I graduated from high school. It was not my senior year. So it was my, so, it's been my sophomore and junior year. So 2015, 2016. So I think, yeah, 2015. Like like we met in 2015 at Penn Station Literally in Penn New Station. York. Yeah. <laughs> like running onto the train together and we were going to go somewhere. But so I that's can't. just as little how I met is at Penn Station. If we ever got matching tattoos, it's just like Penn. Right here. <laughs> so that's how I met Sophia. Now, so girl, I think you should take this one away because I don't have a good memory at all. That was so long ago. All right. Um years ago why does this feel like 10 years ago but that's like that's like my whole life <laughs> that's literally my whole life um 16 so I'd be six no uh, <laughs> I think I met you when I was around 11 my mom did your hair and makeup yeah that's how I met you she brought me on set so I was too young to stay home alone <laughs> and I saw you mm-hmm. and I was like oh this girl is so pretty and I just sat there and I was on my phone and then and then I got older, and then I think we started communicating more. I feel like my first, like, real best friend memory of you of, like, this girl is so, like, in tune with me, and, like, she gets me, and she's, like, a really good friend, and, like, on a different level of everybody else, for some reason, like, the connection was this exact moment. I remember. I was dating You never Brandon. told me this. I was dating Brandon, I think. Yeah. You, yeah, I have told you, because you told me this. I'm just repeating what you said. But... 
she goes, Jordan, she calls me one day randomly. She goes, I just had a nightmare that you and Brandon broke up or something. Do you remember this? Yes. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. What was that dream you had? It was literally you breaking up with Jordan. It was like- No, this- no Brandon. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm thinking of Jordan. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> so many. Um, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Sorry. They literally know me through all of my relationships. Everything. Very first one, very last one. <laughs> um, all stages. <laughs> I remember it was such a vivid dream and you were both of you guys were so upset and just fighting and I was just like I have to tell her about this this feels like too intuitive to just be some something and it was I call her and I'm like Sophia we broke up like two days ago like how do you know this it's nowhere like what do you mean she's like I just had a feeling and that's like when I was just like damn this girl's really on like some next level like and she was like 13 at the time. That's every day though. I have like deja vu. I'm like, wait, that's not deja vu. I had a dream about that. And the moment when Jordan and I broke up, I called you and I was like, I have to tell you, like we, we broke up. And you said something again where you were like, Jordan, like another freaking realization, mysterious moment. Intuitive thing. Intu- yeah. Oh my God. So that's when I was like, oh my God. I feel like we got a lot closer because like I said, she's 16. She's a lot younger than I am. And you're like a year older, right? Yeah, I'm 22. Yeah, so Sophia's 22. Yeah, and Soph is 16. And I feel like Sophia, people are like, oh my God, why are you friends with a 16-year-old? You don't remind me of a 16-year-old at all, obviously. But she's just, she just like gets me and that's why like we're really close nowadays. But long story short, I want to start everything off by talking about Sophia's Vine journey. Because everyone... A journey. Like a, journey. journey? a journey. She was, oh. she was huge on Vine, dude. See, this was not my time. Me I either. didn't have Zom. I didn't have Vine. I didn't have Vine either. Really? Yeah. Okay. So I was like, talk about it. I was doing Vine when I was probably younger than you, even. Like, yeah. Oh. Not even like you're that young, but like still. Like, yeah. So let's start out by saying, like, how did you just start to do Vine? Okay, let's start off by saying, like, how like famous you were at like your like biggest. So then like, then you can tell people how you got to that point. So like, what was like the most followers? I don't even know how Vine worked. Like, was it followers or what was it? Yeah, it was followers. So uh, it was kind of similar to TikTok in the sense where it was like short videos, but um, I basically just, you want me to start from the beginning? Yeah. The other way around. Um, Start from the beginning actually. Yeah, okay. It's easier that way. Um, so essentially with Vine, you know, it was so long ago, but it's actually a funny story. I was posting it, probably started posting my freshman year of high school and a lot of people from my school were just bullying me and like making mm-hmm. fun of me for making videos. And obviously like, I'm a weirdo, like you know that. So yeah. nothing I make is going to be like normal. <laughs> so everything I was making was just like stupid and embarrassing, obviously, but I didn't care. Um, and then whatever like these people are bullying me and then one day I decided to make a vine basically saying like at these people yeah. like whatever and it blew up and that was the vine that started everything for me and from mm-hmm. that point on it was just like consistent like I'd come home and I'd come up with videos and I'd post them and yeah you were in school in school and yeah. no one else was really like it was it's not like TikTok it was no. very far between and like it was probably weird for say like everyone in LA was like doing it or people weren't even even in LA yet. It wasn't even a thing to be like social media. Yeah, no, it like, really wasn't. Like the, I feel like the first real house was like MadCon. Like the fact Yes, that was, like, and that was off yeah, of Vine. And that was off of Vine, which is crazy to think like so many people from that just like blew up and whatever. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, so like from that point on, it just kept on going. And I got to the point where I had like 200,000 or something uh, followers mm-hmm. and I was doing like little show things like yeah, Digifest. Yeah, like Digifest and like meet and greets. And- Wait, I was at Digifest. Really? You were at Digifest? Yes. It was at like, Mets? What? Yeah. Shut Wait, up. There, when there was a Vine stage. I performed. No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I did. I opened That's- for Demi Lovato. I was there. Literally, that is so weird. <laughs> Whoa. I was totally there. Fully there. I was on the Vine stage, obviously, but, which was a mess. They were like, you have to go on stage for like did, 20 did you, minutes. Did you go on the bus to the other one right after? 
There was like another show that I like took a bus to. No, because everyone went to a hotel after. Oh, Boston. No, okay. So some people went to Boston right after and other people stayed and went to, there was like the pod or whatever. Oh, wow. But so there was like a big party and like whatever. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's so weird. We were at the same place. When you go to a rock show and you see that lead guitarist shredding on that stage, right behind them is usually a stack of Marshall amps. Well, now Marshall is bringing that same level of stage excellence to you with their new line of headphones and speakers. The Acton 2 may be compact, but it packs a big sound. With Bluetooth 5.0 technology, you can play your music in glorious stereo sound with no wires required. With great wireless sound in a range up to 30 feet. With classic Marshall details such as a textured vinyl covering, salt and pepper fret and the iconic script logo on the speaker's strong wooden frame. With a loud heritage of 50 years, you'll want to proudly display this speaker in any room. I'm literally going to put it in my kitchen or my living room. I'm actually going to get another one for both. Adjust the volume, treble, and bass with the brass knobs on top, or you can use the Marshall Bluetooth app with built-in equalizer in case you're out of reach. Get your own Marshall Bluetooth speaker today at marshallheadphones.com. Use code JJ15 for 15% off any Bluetooth speaker at marshallheadphones.com. That's JJ15 at marshallheadphones.com. Thanks, Marshall. As you guys know, boxing is probably my favorite activity to do just because it's fun and it's not too hard, but at the same time, you get a crazy workout. So I've been obsessed with using my Fight Camp. Fight Camp brings the boxing and kickboxing gym right to your home with full body workouts that you'll actually look forward to and a freestanding punching bag that can take your hardest hits. Fight Camp is made for beginners to experienced boxers who want to fight from home with several different paths that you can follow that teach you the skills along the way paired with workouts to reinforce your new learnings. It comes with all the gear that you need to box at home, including a freestanding punching bag, boxing gloves, quick hand wraps, and their unique punch tracking sensors that challenge you to hit minimum amount of punches each round and allow you to track your boxing and kickboxing journey. It's also great for kids. Fight Camp is one of the only home workouts that are safe for kids to do because there are no heavy weights. Learn from six highly qualified trainers, all with real fight experience, ranging from a pro MMA fighter and a mother of two to a kickboxing champion. You can pay for your fight camp over 24 months for less than the cost of a boxing gym and get it right away. Plus, fight camp offers free shipping with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Just go to joinfightcamp.com slash jones to get free shipping on fight camp. Go to joinfightcamp.com slash jones. That's J-O-N-E-S. Joinfightcamp.com slash jones. Build a confidence-boosting fall wardrobe with this season's collection of versatile mix-and-match styles from Express. Express is all new and made to hashtag express you. They have confidence Confidence boosting styles for real life versatility, comfort, and quality. I picked up this gray crew neck. It's so soft and stretchy. And I also ordered the matching sweatpants. So I have got all the fall vibes going on right now with the gray and the comfortableness. And it's so versatile because you can make it dress up and wear a leather jacket over it with some cute pumps, or you can just wear socks and be on your couch. Their soft sets feature new silky suede scuba, luxe velour to the luxe sweaters, and fleece sets. These comfy combos are the unofficial uniform of fall. Plus, Express has many great jean options. Their curvy jeans are designed for customers with a 13 inch difference between their hip and waist measurements. Their super soft jeans feature a hyper stretch fabric and super soft feel with 24 seven comfort. And their Flex X jeans fit up to three sizes all in one pair. Their body contour has a breathable knit fabric, holds you in while you're staying comfortable, and has over 1,400 rave reviews. They're available in compression and high compression and bold color options like red, pinks, and blue. So what are you waiting for? Shop Confidence Boosting Styles in-store and online at express.com. So then with TikTok being so big now, and I feel like, you, you know, you like quit kind of like the social media game and then we'll get to like what you do like now and everything. But how do you see TikTok being different now? Because I feel like it's so much easier to blow up. And I feel like back then people would like dog on you for being a line star, but now it's like every, anyone can be a, tic, a TikToker. So how did you, I don't know, how do you feel about like the new TikTok generation? Well, like going back to Vine, I feel like I was on it so early. Mm-hmm. You know, I was like, what, like 13, 14? I was on it so early. Yeah. Like before all these people, like even Matt Conley blew up and all that mm-hmm. stuff. But um, with that, it was like so much harder to blow up because it was such a new app. And like, mm-hmm. 
it, with Vine, it was more like little videos then got people big. Whereas now it's like one video can like create your entire like brand. Like, and I feel like with TikTok, it's like when you put zero effort in, it blows that's up. That's when it blows and up. And with Vine, you put the most effort, like you're, you like thought about an idea, like you really spent time on it and you probably planned out your videos. When now people on TikTok, they literally set their camera up, takes five seconds, they film a little dance video. Obviously, there is people I have to give credit to that obviously no, yeah, of course. even put together a full production for a TikTok. But I'm just saying, uh, in my on my for you page, it's like the most like whatever like put together in five seconds shiz. Yeah. But with you, I feel like when you said you you went to school, you went home, you planned out your videos, you post them, and they were like more of a yeah, it was more of like a thought, a thought. process. Yes, yes, there was more. And like, you had to make people laugh. Yeah, that was like my whole thing. There was more of a thought process, and going to school at the time was definitely you know would make things a lot more difficult for me. Mm-hmm. And it was like such an important thing for me then. Whereas yeah. now it's like the beauty of TikTok is you get to pick a sound and you blow up like from the sound essentially. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can pick a song or you can pick an audio and like that gives you the leg True. up. True. Um, whereas with Vine, it wasn't like that. The original but, sound. Yeah. And now it's like, like you said, just very small things can just create your entire platform and your entire brand. And, you know, yeah. it's not so much that you really have to find a niche, but like you still do in a way, but it's definitely a lot easier. And like the thing mm-hmm. is, you know, like I said, uh, I blew up or whatever mm-hmm. on Vine through a video like where I was getting bullied and yeah. whatever. Whereas now everybody's trying to blow up and everyone's trying to get fame and everyone's trying to, you know, yeah. be the next big person on on TikTok, which is full circle and ironic for sure. Yeah. But so do but you yeah. think if you continued on the Vine journey and then you started musically right away and then TikTok, do you think that you would still be like huge or do you think that now it just is like flooded by so many people well for me especially like I had the opportunity to continue my social media career yeah. you want to call it that um I had the opportunity to do that but my like I have immigrant parents like my mom's an immigrant so she didn't really understand why I would prioritize anything other than school mm-hmm. like she came to this country for me to get a good education and for me to go to college and it's just like high school college mm-hmm. and that's just kind of what you do um, whereas sure. I really wanted to pursue something else. And like now I, it's like very evident that you can yes. make a career out of all this stuff. Like, yeah. Um, so that was like a big challenge for me, but I do think if I would have pursued it and put my 100%, you know, all effort, You'd probably effort be living in LA. honestly, like probably like that's obviously the next chapter for people, you blow up and then you move to yeah. LA, but yeah, <laughs> but, yeah I don't know. I, I definitely think I would be a lot bigger if I put in the effort but Mm -hmm. you know I mean for what I have now I have like what 45k or something like that and And she still has TikToks that blow up yeah and I still have TikToks that blow up obviously they're all stupid (laughs) and really dumb things but but yeah I mean there has to be some some talent I have in there somewhere it's Mm -hmm. not just sheer luck but yeah yeah so Sophia also like she said earlier she had like the decision to continue TikTok or go to college. And the whole reason why I was like, I need Sophia on this podcast is because she went to college and it's something I've never done. And you almost, yeah, you almost like, I mean, you got both lives. Like a lot of people, they literally have like the social media career or they have the college career and you've had both. So I just think it's so interesting. And the reason why I was like, oh my God, I need Sophia on is because the other day I actually went to an all girls college in New York, just in the dorms. And I actually got bracelets. I'm not going to show you guys my bracelets. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going to show you guys my bracelets, but I mean, they're on me. So like people will see them at some point in my life. My friend was like, oh, I have to go because I have a class at 530. And I was like, what do you mean you have class at 530? And she was like, class at college. What do you mean? And I was like, oh my God, I thought classes ended at (laughs) three. I was like, classes end at three. What are you doing? What do you mean? She's like, girl, college is like sometimes till 8 p.m. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, I know nothing about college and I feel very, I feel very uncultured right now and very like like just dumb. So can you please break down? I don't know what college is to ask like how it is. That's like a very difficult question to answer, but but obviously it's four years, you know, you could choose, Gosh. you could choose to do it a lot longer, but, um, get more degrees, but every college is different. I went to a very small private school. Wait, you know, what just came to my mind? What? 
get collected what, for free. Education connection. <laughs> Education <laughs> connection. <laughs> get collected. I've never heard that. What? No. <sighs> what is that? What is that? Education connection? It's commercial. It's like it's commercial. Back yes. in the day. It was so good. Anyways, sorry, um, continue. So it's been yeah. it's four years minimum. Yes. Yeah. You went she went to High Point University. Yes. In, in North, North Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. I know that because I had her location and I would always stop you. <laughs> but anyway, so take it away. What is college like to me? It was like just like a sum up, I guess. Like a day in the life of college. Yes. Oh, very difficult. And I'll give you like weekends, but every school is <laughs> Every school is different. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there's like Greek life. There's which, you know, the oh, sororities, sororities and I was, frat and houses. fraternities. Yes. So, um, oh my god, fertility. A fertility house. <laughs> That's yeah. what you said. Yes. Um, you go to college for four years. Um, you can go to college for a lot longer and get another degree. I had mm-hmm. the ability to do that, but I was like, no, I'm going to move to the city. What did you so major in? I was a media studies and production major, so I did like film. I did screenwriting I did social media I did like a slew of things Cute. but yeah I see that for you yeah right um but yeah like you you have your classes like mm-hmm. not it's not like like high school where or, you have the same school. thing every day yeah it's the same thing every day essentially but it's not like that in college it's like Mondays you can have like two three four classes and they could be there could be like 30 minutes in between an hour in between like oh well so you'd go back to your dorm and uh-huh. you'd come back and whatever um and every day is kind of like that then the weekends, you know, you can go to bars, you can go to uh, frat houses, you can go to whatever. Like it, it really depends on where you go to school, because mm-hmm. um, some schools are are less like fraternity house parties, uh-huh. more like going out and, going and, and stuff like that. I remember you always saying like yours was like a party school, but also like a smart. Like it was like you, well, you work hard, party harder. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's like that at every school. Oh. Like, yeah, you definitely have to prioritize school. If not, you get into the scene and like the, you know, the routine of going out. You could go out every day if you really wanted to, but I had my fun my freshman year of college and I took and ran with it and I just did not do well my freshman year because I was just partying all the time. You know, I got that sense of freedom mm-hmm. and it just was not, it was not good for me. And then eventually like, I got it all, I, all together and, uh, yeah and then you know I did better in school and then graduated and now I'm here but so what are you okay like what's like two things that you took away from college like okay yeah I obviously like really needed that and two things you were like wow that was a waste of my time um I don't know if that's like rude or bad to say I don't know um I guess something I took away from it was kind of like I mean the people you choose to surround yourself with say a lot about who you are Mm. and like you are you really, five of your five closest friends. Yeah, you really got to, like, pick and choose and, and you know, be aware of the people that you choose to hang out with because, it, like I said, it reflects, you know, mm-hmm. on you and whatever. There's probably um, hella groupies. Yeah, yeah, a lot of schools are like that. But, but yeah, mine was like that. And I got – I was so lucky to find a group of people, like, my freshman year. And mm-hmm. we became super close. And, you know, I met more people along the way, mm-hmm. like Lucia, my roommate. Yeah. Her and I were – like we met on bid day, like sorority bid day when we got our bids to join our sorority. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but yeah. Bid day is when you get, so you like rush sororities, right? So you like go through like- Oh a, my God, you like- you It's literally... basically girl flirting. So you have to girl, yes. You have what? to girl flirt for like a week and you go to all the, like my school had six sororities. So you go into a house like at a specific time with a specific group of people and you just talk for like 15, 20, whatever minutes with one girl. And then uh, you leave and you go to the next one. And at the end of the week, they like decide whether or not they want you to be in their house. Like you, it, it's like different rounds. It's competitive and like, yeah, there's like different rounds. So it's like all about what you say and what you wear. And there's like all rules. Like you can't talk about boys. You can't talk about booze. You can't talk about Bible. You can't talk about what is it? Barack, which is like political and there's an, and bank account. You can't talk about those five things because yeah. they, they, it makes you like look bad. Like, if I go into a house and I'm just talking about, like, boys, boys, drinks. and, like, what I go out, like, when I go out and what I do when I go out and, you know, like, whatever. Because like, it's not it, really, like, that person. It doesn't, re- yes, it doesn't, I mean, it does mm-hmm. to an extent, but, you like, it doesn't. Really, like, it was a bigger to get it, though, right? Like, no, like, you really can't talk. Like, they say you shouldn't talk about that stuff because it makes, it wow. reflects poorly on you. Damn. So, when you yes. went in, what, did, what would you say? 
Okay, so, <laughs> well, no, no, like, they obviously know that you, like, you know, you're in college, a lot of people, like, <laughs> yeah. do that stuff, and, like, whatever. Boys and booze. Plus, yes. there's party parties, yes. like, there's house to be booze there. Yeah, so, but like, you don't talk about it. But like, you don't even get to that point yet. You can't, you can't go to sorority mm-hmm. parties until you're in sorority. And to mm-hmm. get into the sorority, you can't talk about those things, because, like, they don't want. But yeah. once you're in, you can talk about those things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Oh, no, 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 no. Then sororities, oh. would, sororities would be so boring, and there would be the most normal thing ever. I was like, like, so if you had to, like, flirt with me much. or get in right now, what would you have to do? Talk about so, your life. So, okay, ready? Say you're in a sorority, yeah. right? You'd I'm, like, I'm the queen. What are, no, no. You're just, like, a... a a sort a sister a sister okay. um, yeah uh-huh. sorry, sorry. Okay. so like you'd uh it's crazy that you don't know any about like no. anything about the nah, so insane. only in like pitch perfect <laughs> in pitch perfect honestly kind of yeah so like you just ask me like hi how are you like talk hey, about yourself you? yes be like hi like I'm Sophia I'm 22 years old I'm from Long Her Island went up. that's basically what you're yep. here. I'm from Long Island New York um would they be like oh what's your major oh what's your major yeah I'm like, oh, I'm a media studies and production major. Do you love it? Do you love it? Yeah, like it's okay. My classes are kind of, you really just have to just talk like that. And, oh and my gosh, 15 minutes you said? Yeah. Build a confidence boosting fall wardrobe with this season's collection of versatile mix and match styles from Express. Express is all new and made to hashtag Express You. They have confidence boosting styles for real life versatility, comfort, and quality. Their soft sets feature new silky suede scuba luxe velour to luxe sweaters and fleece sets. These comfy combos are the unofficial uniforms of fall. Plus, Express has so many great jean options. Their curvy jeans are designed for customers with a 13-inch difference between their hip and waist measurements. Their super soft jeans feature a hyper-stretch fabric, a super soft feel, and 24-7 comfort. And their Flex X jeans fit up to three sizes, all in one pair. The body contour has a breathable knit fabric, holds you in while staying comfortable, and has over 1,400 rave reviews they're available in compression and high compression and bold color options like red pinks and blue what are you waiting for shop confidence boosting styles in store and online at express.com have you been looking for a snack your whole family will love then you need to check out sensible portions they have so many options to choose from sensible portions garden veggie straws are a delicious crunchy snack that the whole family will enjoy the garden veggie straws have a flavor for every taste like the spicy screaming hot or tangy zesty ranch they also just launched two new flavors, barbecue and sour cream and onion. Sensible Portions Garden Veggie Straws have a light texture with 30% less fat than leading potato chips, so you can snack both sensible and delicious. They're perfect for when you're on the go and when the kids go back to school. My favorite thing about Sensible Portions is probably the new sour cream and onion flavor. I think it's so good. I definitely crave it all the time. Sensible Portions has also just came out with a new product, Sensible Portions Garden Veggie Puffs. They are baked and never fried. They're the perfect poppable snack. They come in three delicious flavors, white cheddar, sour cream and onion, and screaming hot. With no artificial preservatives, flavors, or colors. Find Sensible Portions Better For You snacks on Amazon at Amazon.com slash Sensible Portions. So my yeah. friend Aspen, she goes to Harvard, and she was telling me about some initiation. Okay, yo, okay, Harvard, I couldn't even tell you, okay? But did you have to do any initiation things? Like, For sororities, yeah. It scares me. She had to do some very very bad stuff like at some schools there is like hazing and, and all that stuff and i that hazing oh jordan how long is this podcast allowed to I, don't even, I don't even know what hazing is i should know yeah what's okay. hazing he's like you really like a pepper, pepper spray <laughs> that's what i'm thinking it's really for boys Literally. it's really for boys but like girls like i'm just, i feel like sororities have hazing too someone what mine, is it? mine did it mine did it out. it's really just like they harass you and they like right all over you and like just like bad they do just bad stuff to you because they can because they they say we can do and say and make you do like whatever we want and if you comply with our demands essentially then you get to be a brother and or you get to like join the fraternity oh, can, I you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. can you give me an example of i don't bad. i'm not boys do not talk about it none of my guy friends talk about their yeah yeah yeah. it's like really bad yeah and a lot of fraternities get yeah a lot of fraternities get kicked off of their campuses because they're so they hate like people die like 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 over drinking to where like they make them drink yeah they make them drink guys like like, yeah it's like that oh my my my, guys my jaw is dropped okay is there anything (laughs) else like that you're like wait does she know about this or like something that's like just I guess it's more college scene, not actual like school college. 
that we're like more talking about, like the experience. Like, because I know nothing about sororities, frats, literally the parties, the, the literally anything, dorms, nothing. Dorms, well, my school had the most beautiful dorms, so I couldn't even speak about dorms. We have like campus food, but you could go off oh, campus. The dorms know? here are like little rat boxes. They yeah. are. I went to one. Yeah, it's so sad. <laughs> my school's so, bracelet. My school, my freshman year, we, I had like a uh, full size bed, which is like insane. Like the room was like bigger than this. And it was, oh my like, god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, it's not gonna. No, be I, yeah, I. They're really, really, really small. Um. Okay. Wow. I. So. And then, what's one thing that you, like. We're like, okay, yeah, that was a waste of my time in college. Mm. Uh, Nothing? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I think maybe the waste of my time was, well, I dropped my sorority, but I met some of my best friends, so that really oh, was a okay. waste of my time. But um, I guess just, like, partying too much my freshman year. Like, you had, I had four years to, you know, I'm there for school, and I had four years to have my fun and spread it out. And I just kind of ruined it for myself my freshman year because then I just had to work consistently for like another, like my Catch sophomore year. Off. Like, yeah, I just had to work so hard mm -hmm. that I couldn't have as much fun. Whereas if I had spread out my fun, it definitely would not have been so hard on me, you know? So you think that that's like one thing that they don't tell you about going to college is like spread out your partying and don't yes. just go crazy the first year. Yeah, because a lot of kids, like a lot of people, you know, like, they go to college and you know if this anybody needs any college tips exactly. like i strongly advise you to not like have just all your fun your freshman year because mm -hmm. you know like like you get your taste of freedom and you think like okay i can do whatever i want and you know i can mm -hmm. go out every single night and like nothing's gonna happen and i'll catch up on my work like you don't end up catching up on your work because the next thing you know you have papers and more assignments and projects and it's just like it piles up it, it piles up to the point where you cannot catch up and then your um, mental health is probably horrible yeah and that was that was something that was huge for me you know like I was far away from home I was like a long drive away from home I had a boyfriend at the time and he went to school in Michigan oh and my gosh so like the one person I wanted to be with like I couldn't be with them and you know obviously like with all the partying and everything like all my friends and I did all that stuff and we had our little fights and like my mental health was just not good and and it just definitely my grades weren't good which affected my mental health Oof. which then affected my grades and and affected yeah, my mental health. Like home. it just wasn't and like my home friends all went <clears throat> like my friends from high school all went to different schools and we weren't close so it was it was definitely very hard I loved it I would never you know take it back and I would take back some of the things that I did for sure because they would have benefited me if I hadn't done them mm -hmm. but but at the end of the day, it was like the most amazing thing ever. And it just blows my mind that like, you're not like, if you wanted to, you can experience it. But like at this point, why? Yeah. At this yeah. point, I mean, I, it's always there. It's always there. It's, it's always there. Option. That's why I'm going to just live my life for now. And I can, anyone can always go back to college. That's true. So you go when you're 50. I can go when I'm 50. Sophia, you're still in school. You're homeschooled though, right? So we have a completely different yeah. life right here. Oh, uh, yeah. You're homeschooled? So this can be really short, really long. <laughs> Just go the really short run, I guess. Yeah. Um, homeschooled, probably wondering what that's like. Do you make friends? Yes, I probably have more than most people who are in school. She was just <laughs> telling me, you guys. Yeah. yeah. She was like, this is the first time I've ever had like people fighting to see me. Yeah, because I lived in LA and I was kind of in this social group that Jordan was in, but yeah. a little bit different because she was older. younger. Yep. Yeah. So she hung out with a lot of the older ones and I hung out with a lot of the younger ones. I For instance, like Carson Leaders, Hayden Summerall. You hung out with Dylan Summerall, I was hanging out with Hayden Summerall. Yeah. Yeah. Like that was his older brother. I was, yeah. 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 So those kids were fun. They thought that they weren't great people. I just, or not my people whatsoever. Mm -hmm at all you and, and you can know like Aiden them. you can click with Dylan like you <laughs> yeah click, yeah she clicks and hangs out with the older crowd anyway so even if you went to school you would be clicking with the freaking it would have been a really messed up situation <laughs> so I'm happy I am homeschooled the work is easier I could basically do a year's worth, worth of work in five months and I could be ahead so like it, it's really worth it especially with what I do which is modeling um so that's really good. So if yeah. I had like early call times, like when I did go to school, I'd have like, let's say a week or two weeks worth of work every single morning at 7 a.m. to like mm -hmm. 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. So like I would miss so many attendance that 
it's not that I wasn't good in school. It's that like they would help hold me back if I didn't yeah. be homeschooled. So I was homeschooled. That was it. That's long, short yeah. story. <laughs> yeah. So now when, with your modeling, what is your like day of your life? Usually I remember last oh. time I was here, you literally had a list of like 300 things. That there she- is no schedule. There is no schedule. It is a list of things I have to do that week or that month. Because it is like, it is not just within the day. It's not just like the week. It is like piled up just like tasks. And you have to stay fit. You have to like, there's just so many things that go into modeling that people don't even understand. So like, what, what do you think are like the five main aspects to being a model? Oh, I have something major to say as someone who's (laughs) had like four eating disorders, binging, choosing not to eat, then choosing to restrict myself. And it's just, don't restrict yourself. Don't say, oh, I'll have this tomorrow because it will make subconsciously, psychologically, you will want it more and end up binging that whole night. Just put yourself on a normal schedule when you feel like eating, eat. When you don't feel like eating, don't eat. Because it's like, Mm -hmm. it's such a psychological thing. Mm -hmm. It's not so much as a physical thing as much as people think it is. Yeah, I wanted to bring it up. I just didn't know. Yeah, no, I don't care. Yeah, but so- Let's, I guess let's talk a little bit more about that because I haven't had anyone on that's obviously been an open and everything. So what else can you say? Because there's so many people nowadays that are looking at people on TikTok, on Instagram and seeing oh. bodies. So like, let's go a little bit in like the, you know. I'm following probably 200 people on TikTok. Very pretty girls, very yeah. skinny girls. And you're 16, you're so big young. girls. Like so many different types of girls who are so gorgeous, different types of styles, makeup. I appreciate beauty and I can look at it. And I think a lot of the times where we have struggles is we focus on the things we don't have instead of the things we do have. So like, yeah. let's say like I'm looking at a girl who has blonde hair. Yes. I love your blonde hair. I can I say- I love your brown hair. Yes. And I can appreciate it and I can want it. But if I can still love my brown hair and be like, well, that would never suit me. You know what I'm saying? True, yeah. So it's such an interesting thing how we're like, well, I want that and I would look better with that. And it's just like, we never stop to appreciate the things we do have that work so well. I remember specifically my friend Brooke Green from back home, all growing up, I remember this one moment, we were probably both seven years old. And I was like, she, I was like, I want your curly hair. And she always wanted my straight hair. (laughs) I mean, I love your um, like black hair. She always wanted my blonde hair. And we were like basically the same per- We were completely opposite. We both wanted each other. Like how we both wanted, experience. We literally wanted, I wanted what she had and she wanted what I had and we could never have it. And I feel like the fact that that's like exactly what you just said. And I had that all growing up of like always almost wanting to be her and her wanting to be me was just like the craziest thing. It was almost like a sister where like your sister is like very similar to you, but at the same time, very different. But yeah, I just like thought oh, that was crazy. Build a confidence boosting fall wardrobe with this season's collection of versatile mix and match styles from Express. Express is all new and made to hashtag Express You. They have confidence boosting styles for real life versatility, comfort, and quality. Their soft sets feature new silky suede scuba luxe velour to luxe sweaters and fleece sets. These comfy combos are the unofficial uniforms of fall. Plus, Express has so many great jean options. Their curvy jeans are designed for customers with a 13 inch difference between their hip and waist measurements their super soft jeans feature a hyper stretch fabric a super soft feel and 24 7 comfort and their flex x jeans fit up to three sizes all in one pair the body contour has a breathable knit fabric holds you in while staying comfortable and has over 1400 rave reviews they're available in compression and high compression and bold color options like red pinks and blue what are you waiting for shop confidence boosting style in store and online at express.com before we end this interview i'm going to do a never have i ever dirty edition with you okay so i have some questions that we're going to ask and i'm going to do it with you they're kind of college edition but also just like overall never have i ever but since you've had just a completely different experience oh, in mind, i actually probably don't know a lot of these and you know you can choose to lie if you need to no, but and we're gonna say <laughs> That we have or we have never because I'm not going to do like the, the video thing or the picture because some of you guys are listening on audio. So here are my screenshots. First question. Never have I ever had sex on the first date. Okay, what do I do if I have? <laughs> Just say it. 
I have. I have <laughs> never. <laughs> okay, never have I ever sent a nude picture. I said I have. <laughs> I have, and I said this in the interview with my mom. Dude, my mom can't hear this. I'm just, it's fine. It's fine. Don't repost it. It's fine. I'm not. <laughs> no reposting this. Um, never have you ever hooked up with an ex. Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> I have never. What do you consider hookup? What do you consider hookup? <laughs> I have never. Okay. <laughs> Next question. I never have you ever drunk texted an ex. Uh, yeah, I have. I, I have. have never. I've never been drunk. That's true. That's true. Um, never have you ever used a flavored condom. No. Never have you ever faked an orgasm. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, yeah. I honestly don't even like. Yeah. Cause it's just like, like you're welcome. Like I don't know. Like, you, like thanks. I guess. Like here you go. Like I don't know. I don't know. It, it, I feel it, like if you if you're a woman and you haven't like. You need to get out there more because it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's just like, yeah, it's kind of inevitable. Yeah. Um, never have you ever been skinny dipping? I have. I have. Never have you ever had a threesome? I've never. I have never. Oh, never have you, you ever had a 4G? There. No, never. Okay, I have never. Never have. What, what am I even saying? Like, these people have never even heard me say these words before. Never have you. Can't even do these. Never have you ever sexed in. Of course. Uh, Wait, what's considered sexting? I don't think I have, honestly, to be honest, no. I have. Like, I don't think so. I don't know. Never have you ever lied about your relationship status? I don't think so. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, thank I, you. I, I, I... I I left things out. That's that's. Sure. <laughs> I left things out. And I never have you ever been caught doing something naughty. Yeah, do you want to say a story time? <laughs> Please. Um, I'll keep it not so you know. Yeah. Right. I was with my boyfriend at the time, and I have a ten-year-old brother. Yeah. Jet, shout out, Jess. And we, I was like babysitting him or whatever. I remember he just came over and my brother like walked in. He didn't see anything. It was under the covers, but I literally, I stopped breathing. Like I couldn't breathe. I, I literally was so scared. I did not know how to handle the situation after that. Him and I were literally just like this. And my brother just didn't like understand what was going on because he didn't know. But I, yeah. So essentially, yes. But yeah, I, that was bad. Like, I feel like I have a lot of times, but it's never been where it's like, no one's almost known that something's going on. Like, it's been very discreet, but like, like, so we've never really been caught or I've never been caught, but there's been so many scenarios where I've been in an act of something <laughs> and someone's walked in, but yeah. it's been discreet and low key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the way you handle it, you know? It is. I didn't freeze up or, like, be like, eh, I'm awkward. <laughs> like, what? All right, two more questions. Never have you ever slept with a friend's boyfriend or girlfriend? No, I've never. Slept with them? No. No. <laughs> that was the question. That was the question. I slept with them? No. Slept with them? No. Never have you ever made out with a girl? I've made out? No, I've kissed a girl. My friends and I probably kiss every weekend. I'm like, I love you so much. I love you so much, baby. And then we kiss. Yeah, uh, yeah I've kissed a girl. Too. It's actually on YouTube. Nicole, shout out Nicole Anderson. I've kissed her. I think I've kissed Kellyanne too. I don't really like kiss my girlfriends. Like a lot of people do that. Maybe it's also because I don't drink. I feel like a lot of, that's like a thing that you do when you're out and like. Yeah, my drinking. friends, my friends and I like get all sappy and we're like, I love you so much. You're the best friend ever. You look so good. You look so good. I love you so much. And then we just like kiss, but it's not like a make out, you know, just like a pack, but. <sighs> I love those questions. Those are really fun. I can't believe I say these words on the internet, but um, yeah, there's a little piece of us that you guys did not know before. Yeah. And Sophia, thank you for being so open and chill during this interview. Of course. Now, the last question, we did talk about what's one thing that they didn't tell you about going to college. So last question, what's one thing that they don't, they didn't tell you about being a freaking Viner? But being a Viner, I mean, I don't know if this is like so much a 
a negative thing. So I don't know if it's like, but mm-hmm. they don't tell you, you know? Um, but I mean, all these people, we were all pretty young, I guess when we all like blew up and, and you know, we just all didn't know how to handle it. Like we had Vine and then TikTok and like now everybody's kind of doing that. So you yeah. have kind of something to go off of. Mm-hmm. YouTube was definitely a thing, but it wasn't like the same thing, Yeah, you know? Um, but you really got to, you know, choose the people that you, like I said before, surround yourself, even in that environment, mm-hmm. like very carefully because you don't know who yeah. uses you for things, you know, you don't know who just wants to be friends with you yeah. to, you know, get something out of it. And, you know, that's something that I, I found very sad about becoming friends with people when you're in that sort of industry and yeah. that sort of field. And and I don't, I literally try to just not be friends with anyone who is like, big I feel like because I've always feel like coming from Michigan and having like Stevie and having you for so long and Sophia for so long and just like people I grew up with I just know their intentions Mm -hmm. and I'm very big about spotting it and yeah I appreciate you and I love you for being my friend and I love you too and you're I feel like our friendship has just gotten so good and like so strong over the past year or so yeah because you know I've, I've noticed that you're just not that type of person like LA didn't take your soul and no you know, we were in- we were with her roommate the other day we were passing by this club and she was like oh yeah I don't know if we're gonna get in though it's gonna be a long line and like in LA like <laughs> the so joke great. is like I literally say bitch I'm Jordan Jones and her roommate was like oh and I was she like girl she it, she she I was, yeah I was like yeah she was like oh my god that's so funny but because I literally don't use like my cloud or like literally people go and they're there's like a reservation and they're like there it's an hour away and my some of my friends will be like this is my famous birthdays or like look look at how many followers they have they go to Coachella and like to get in line like they literally flaunt their like social media following or like you don't know who I am and I'm just not like that at all so with my friends it's a joke I'm like I'm Jordan Jones like I can get in but I never actually go to to anything (laughs) but her her literal roommate for a second there was like this she thought it was real and then she's like and then she's like I love that you said that because it's so funny now okay but yeah, again, thank you for being my friend. Thank yeah. you for coming on the podcast. Love you. Make sure you guys rate the podcast five stars on Apple and add us to your Spotify playlists. And I'll be back in the studio next week for a new interview. Happy Halloween. Yeah. What are you going to be for Halloween? Wrap it up. Princess. <laughs> and I'm going to be, I actually have like six thousand, which you're probably going to end up not being anything, but it's okay. All right. I will see you guys next Thursday with a new interview. Happy Halloween. And I love you guys so much.